Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to the final station. Oh, we gotta go through this again. I exited last time I played and apparently every time you do that, you have to go through the beginning of the drop off, but we successfully made it somewhere. Uh, we dropped all these people off, man. That's awesome. That's very exciting for me because I got a lot of money for it, so. Oh, where's this guy going? He's like looking through his helmet, okay. Uh, anyway, yeah, it's super exciting for me. Um, because, hey, you know, there's a ton of people there, and, uh, just to be able to drop them all off is great. But we're gonna continue on. Also, if Sydney got nuked last episode, you should definitely watch it. Isn't this a lovely day? Adam Thornton wants to meet you. It's urgent, he said. Alright, thanks. Mind your tongue. We owe it all to him. You can keep it, too. His office is located at the park of the Nebelhurs factory. It's seen from anywhere in the city. You can't go wrong. The driver will be waiting for you to bring you to the factory. Oh, all right. I'll print a blank with a, uh, the code by the time you get back. All right. Well, that's interesting. Are you going from the north? Is everything okay there? Not really, man. We nuked it. I can't con- It's because we nuked it, dude. By the way, did you hear the strange noise about an hour ago? Yeah, it was- Huh, what? Are you okay? I don't understand what you're talking about. We nuked the city! A nuclea bomberu! Eh, routes to the north are cancelled. So boring without work. Hey man, you and I look kind of the same, not gonna lie. Sorry, I have some work to do. Alright, well that's fine. Peace out. Did everything just get gray? Or is that just... I don't know, I, I, was everything already gray? My brain's just tricking me? Money. Newspapers. Why would I want newspaper? Prices for newspapers are getting higher every day. Information about the outer world will be a luxury soon. Maybe that's why. Oh shit, you hit a girl. He won't get in trouble, mark my words. He is from the plant. Well, I don't know what the plant is, but you hit a woman. And she's got, like, body parts on the front of the car. And nobody seems to give a shit, which is even scarier to me. Hey, girl. Jack! Is it, is it for you again? What? That doesn't mean anything to me, to me. What the hell are you talking about? Can I go up to the door? Nope. Uh, that's a gruesome sight, man. Can I talk to you out the window? No. Thanks, mate. Phone? Yes, it's a call box on the next street. Oh, I can go up that way. Oh, this is like a full-on, like, city. All right, how much medicine do we have? I'm gonna buy... I have three, so I bought one. I'm gonna buy three. Ammo, I think I'm okay with. Man, shit's expensive. Hmm? Well, why not? I'm not busy for the rest of the day. Okay, so you got on my train, I see. Uh, you're also selling food, so let's buy... I bought out all your food. I can't buy any more. So I can actually buy out meds and food, it seems. So I might as well buy them out. It's fine with me. Maybe save some money for, uh... Whoa, look at that shit in the back. You're not interested. I need to annoy someone else. Um, maybe I'll have enough money for a newspaper by the end. All right, I'm assuming that's the guy who's gonna take me to where I need to go. So instead of talking to him, let's explore the city upwards a bit. Let's see what's going on there. Man, that's cool looking. It's got big blue circular lights and shit. But I'm definitely gonna... I want to see the rest of the city. Let's see if I can find more stuff. Hey, don't mind me. I mean, you probably should. I'm in your house. We aren't open yet. If you need a room, go upstairs. I don't really need a room. I just need to rob you. I met the old man today. Looks like he already lost his marbles, however. He told me something very important about the first visitation. I need to get to that at Canyon. But the train will head west in just a week. I'll go north in the morning. It'll be faster that way. What's the visitation? I still need to know. Oh, hello. Where to go? What for? Hmm. Um. I mean. I'm here to rob you, mostly. Of as much as I can. Well, we have two vacant rooms. The first is the right, but it needs cleaning. Some crazy nut live there. And an adjacent lodging uh, outside, but there's a leak there. You may have to look around. I kind of want to go into these rooms, though. See what's going on. 
He said a nut lived there, so that obviously intrigues me as to what's happening. All right, before we go back, we'll continue exploring this area. We have a sewer, which I can't go in, and then this house, which I'm gonna rob. Another visitor. Y yes, another visitor. Is that normal for you? Hey. Ooh, crazy old man. Let's see what else I can grab in here, if anything. Are you also my to, uh, are you also to my grandpa? See, some of the some of the wording is incorrect. He is in, but please be quick. And don't ask about settlers. His family suffered a lot at that time. Alright, well, I might ask him anyway. Yes, I caught up to it the first visit. I often offered to talk about it, but I noticed that hardly anybody really listens to me. I suppose so many years later, nobody needs the true story. But I do! It all started with capsules. They fell from the sky. One of them fell a block away from my house. Gas from these capsules somehow affected people. It's good to it's good you already know. But there's a detail people often skip. Not everybody felt the same effects from the gas. <laughs> I assume he's coughing. Sorry, I can't take long. Art can't talk long. Okay, so gas goes off. Memoir is recollection of the visitation. Everyone who got across the zone of visitation was treated badly. The very first night, locals burst into our tent and attacked us. They beat my father to death at the time and dragged my mom somewhere. I never saw her again. It appeared that none of the locals took the story seriously. They thought we were just migrants in search of a better life. A month later, Vermin White came to power. Who is Vermin White? Why did he come to power? Oh, there is a... looks like an emergency fall down there. Ooh, I'm calling somebody! Okay. We're getting tidbits now, though. We know those capsules are giving gas out, which is good to know. And it doesn't affect everybody the same way. Now, does he, when he says that, does he mean that, uh, ooh, damn, someone's boozing it up down here. Does he mean, whoa, okay. Let's try that again. Does he mean that's what creates the different types of zombies, or does it do different things to different people in a different way? Um, could you shut the door before we're discovered? I mean, you're just boozing it up down here. I should tell, tell somebody that you're down there, but whatever. All right, well, I'm glad we came over here. So, capsules come to the sky first, so it's like a precursor. Maybe it's there to weaken up people. The, the capsules come to the sky, gas everyone, and in the process of gassing everyone, they kind of wipe themselves out. It's possible. Let's get ammo. Upgrade to the pistol, laser sight, and extended clip. I do want to maybe buy those. Laser sight or extended clip? Let's buy the laser sight. Let's max out on our ammo. I don't have enough money for the extended clip, which might be better, but the laser sight theoretically will mean we have to spend less ammo to hit things. Please get into the car. He awaits you. All right. Let's do it. Hello? Good afternoon. Are you here for the meeting? Let me see. Well... Yes, Mr. Thornton is waiting for you. Come in. Can I talk to you more? The door is on the right, sir. All right. Well, thank you. Oh. All right. Something drilling into the ground. A cap. Maybe it's these are the capsules. I don't know. Mr. Thornton, I'll talk to you here in a minute. No, I won't. I'll talk to you now. I I know. Don't worry. Electron particles from the mines interfere with radio waves. That's why people don't even know what's going on. This fog protects them from the external world. Moreover, they still avoid these places. But that's not your concern. They than the aliens? Hmm? Warn them if you want, but they won't believe you anyway. Let's get down to business. Time is running out. According to the contract with the council, in case of the second visit, I have to give up the factory's energy core. To charge the Guardian with it. Okay, so the Guardian must be a weapon of some sort to fight off the aliens' second invasion. The council should have provided transport, but I think you understand that your train is the only thing running. I gave the order to attach the cargo with the energy core to your train, so it's better to hurry up. I know there's no way to jump over the blockers, but that's your problem. See you soon. So, you're saying, hey, you gotta go out there and kill things, you know, whatever, man. Shit. So, I'm gonna deliver the energy core to charge the Guardian in case of a second visit. 
How do we fight off the first visit then? That's what I want to know. I hope I have enough money for a newspaper. I didn't check. But I, d I think I do. And I definitely want to buy one. Uh, the Bristol police, under the order of Adam Thornton, conducted an investigation and confiscated one ton of crushed electrum illegally mined by the Skamen factory as Skamen factory management tried to transport it out of Bristol. Remember that any extraction of electrum within the city territory must be licensed and taxed. Too bad that so many years later, some individuals still think they can illegally smuggle minerals out of my city. Today's example will remind them what happens in such scams. There's a belief of an increase in population mortality in the city. I'm telling you, as a scientist, I've heard these stories since the first day of my work in Bristol. There's no benefit to us keeping our people under a poisonous atmosphere. Uh, our goal is for each person mining electrum to live long and a happy life. Since the first day of well, there's no benefit to keeping us... Okay. So maybe the, the smog is like a poisonous atmosphere, but nobody's saying yes or no. Regardless, it's still interesting. All right, there it is. The cargo is already attached. Have a nice day. Well, let's go ahead and uh, pop in the number. We've got the cargo and now we have to deliver it. Now we have what, one passenger maybe? I wonder what he's gonna give us as a reward. Yes, one passenger. He'll give us 120 bucks and some booze. Where are we going? Uh, I don't know. Deliver something to the Guardian. Metropole. Hmm. Always wanted to visit. Well, that's good. To look at the Guardian. Which is what we're going for anyway. They say when its engine starts... The whole world will hear it. Well, that's really loud and it'll probably make us go deaf. I hope there won't be need in it. Well, there will be. Sir, I promise you. We're gonna have to. Whoa, what is this? We're draining it? Okay, so I just have to drain them out. Interesting. So is this the is this the energy thing that I have to deal with? What about you? I don't know, worry about me. Do you wanna know why I'm drinking? I mean, world's going to shit, I don't blame you. We are settlers. We are being oppressed all the time. Who are settlers? What does a settler mean? Every damn day. You can't do this. You can't do that. It's not my fault. That was my country. That my country was destroyed. Oh, so you guys are immigrants, you're saying? Turn to dust. And not only my country. Sure. I would understand if we were attacked by another country. Like a political superpower. But they... I wouldn't mind a beer right now. They, as in the aliens? That looks like a very hyper-compressed actual picture of a mountain in the back. That's all I'm saying. Let's bring this down. This down. This way down. Uh, Tim Laning. Tim, please, any news from the north? I'm sorry, my friend. I'm stuck in Metropole. They don't let anyone out of here. Council still silent. They pretend it's just connection problems. I'm sure they already fled the town. Tim's offline. Okay, well, we're here. It's very beautiful. We're in like an island area. Gorgeous. All right, we have a ton of, we have a laser sight. And we have a ton of ammo for our pistol, so. Of course, he's dead. Back to, like, sadness and death. Code Red, please retire to the shelter immediately. Oh, great. Very exciting. I love Code Red, really. Not Code Red Mountain Dew, though. I just, I'm not a huge fan of that. I'm assuming I'm going to come out of there. And that that's like a locked door, and that's going to be my way back. Everything's overgrown. How long has the city been abandoned? Mike, there's still a problem with the school cook. We need one more month to get him on board. If this can, can't wait, our only option left is to eliminate him. What does that even mean? Like, fire him? 
I hope that's what you mean by eliminate. Okay. So let's, like, let it charge. I want to charge up. Nobody in here, but we got a lot of good stuff. Okay. Again, ammo conservation is going to be very, very important during this trip. Ow. Ow. Okay, well, that's how that went down. Because the thing is not exactly per perfect. And by thing, I mean the combat system. Alright, the thing with uh, I'm realizing about our medicine is that it's all shared. Alright, that worked out super well. Um, but our medicine is shared. So the medicine I have here is the medicine I have to give to the people as well uh, that are on our train. And if we come across anybody here, you know, it means more people on the train that we're going to have to worry about. It's fine, though. This place has been abandoned for quite some time. Okay, good. No bullet usage if I don't have to. Keep it quiet. Good thing this isn't like... You know, you shoot a gun and 10,000 zombies show up. Like, you know, how it probably would end up being. These records? BBNG, XX1, Rubik, fake music, mixtape, total. A lot of money. Alright. Can I take this stuff? <laughs> God damn it. Mary, I don't just sell records for a living here. It's difficult to explain. I can't tell you everything just yet. Send more photos. More sexy photos? I don't know. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Good. Can't check out the car. I'm probably going to have to pop a pill here. I don't want to, but... Probably going to have to. Okay. I did not mean to do that. I actually can't walk off the edge. I missed. Uh, that was... All headshots. All headshots. Alright, we're definitely charging up a shot for this asshole. Can I... Oh, I can go buy it. Alright. Thought I could walk off the edge. Because sometimes they like to block things off, but... If I can find any medicine at all, I'll use one for myself. Locked. It's a little scary. <sighs> yeah, come over here. Hey, sexy lady. I'm gonna come over here, do one of these. Pop him in the face. Okay, it's like a classroom or an office. Got no chairs I can grab. Dennis Morgan, better known as the Blacksmith, was born in Winston and placed in a local orphanage at a very early age after the tragic death of his parents. He ran away as a teenager and was exiled from his home county for nearly 26 years. During his unusual life, Morgan has lived in various cities under false names. Right now, he's known as the Chief Engineer of the Guardian. He's no... Wait. He's known as... Of the... What? So the, the guardian of the... The engineer of the guardian's a fake guy? Oh, blood. Blood leading into that room. Okay, nobody. Gonna have to go out there, but first... Okay. Just looks like there was a freaking murder scene in there. Somebody died. Locked. All right. Peter, look, I think you're worrying about nothing. The whole city can't be involved in some sort of conspiracy together. And, well, do they really need a regular school cook? So are they, like, feeding the, the children, like, gross stuff? Key. Do not forget to give the key to the kitchen staff before leaving. Well, I have it now. I assume this is going to have, like, an access to the underground. 
Yep. All right. Is that an elevator? Looks like it. Let's charge up. Oh, Jesus. Ugh. That scared the shit out of me. Well, I will continue digging a tunnel to this house tomorrow. There's not much further to go now. I think uh, we can have the wiretap in place by Tuesday at the latest. What the fuck is going on in this town? Government listening devices and shit? It's kind of freaking weird. Closed. What is? You have like machines and shit. Shelter status closed. Civilians zero, military zero, unidentified objects 1,214. Is this like a shelter? Oh shit, man, let me in. Unidentified objects, but you know, whatever. Okay. Let's charge. Sometimes he doesn't charge. It's really weird. Sometimes he just throws out a quick punch. Even when his uh even when his stamina is fully fully recharged. I mean money is great, but I can only use it once every so often. Alright, why is there a million X's? Right underground, they had people on this record area. God damn. It's really cool to discover that stuff. Last bomb. Oh my god. Amanda, I sent Jonas to base A1 under the Metropole. I hope they'll teach him how to behave. Erase the writing. That's fine. All right, charge up, punch. Good, we didn't use any explosions. Look, it's the freaking thing of the world. This is straight up like CIA secret basement bullshit. The rocket is ready to launch, await the orders. Oh my good lord. Okay, there's a man there. Well, let's grab him. Don't shoot, Metropole, thank God, I'm in. All right, well, we're taking you to Metropole. Government man. Ah, shit. Okay, well, three bullets. Oh, one bullet. Maybe that's all it takes is one bullet and then he's set to explode. Monday transcript, Friday transcript. Are you sure that now is the time for this? Okay, but when? I'd like to wait a little longer. Look, we are, we're waiting for the bus. It's the 30th? Fine, just come quickly. What? All right, Mark McCarroll, dead. There's the code. Nobody here, beautiful. And I had I know. All right, we did it. Jesus, man. That's some weird, weird, like, conspiracy theories, some crazy shit. That is insane. But we picked up nobody that's injured, so... That makes me feel good about it. All right. Let's see what we got. Oh, rookie, hello. Uh, well, I mean, is he a rookie? But because you've barely been here longer than him. Um, hello. Here's some food. Are you with us? Yes, sir. I mean, yes. Oh, you're a soldier, huh? Army man. Um, no, <laughs> definitely not. No, no. I'm a mere civilian. Yes. I mean, I'm an ordinary civilian. You're acting suspicious. I don't like people like you. I can't tell you anything. I got an order. I mean, I don't have to tell you anything. Listen, dude, you've already said you've got an order. It's all clear with you. Greenhorn. Oh shit, he got called a rookie himself. Shit son, he got called a rookie. And you? I only have half a bottle left, sorry. I mean, are you going to the shelter too? Aha, wait, why shelter? But, the second visitation. 
Are you one of those? One of those fanatics? I don't like people like you. They are already sending out the capsules, you know that. Capsules with beer, perhaps? Hey! No, the capsules with... Come on, I'm kidding. Once I also read some stupid books. Well, we're here. You can eat after. I need to see if I can get some more food while I'm here. It's weird that these, there's so many people that don't believe it actually happened, because it seems like it happened under 100 years ago. People like grandparents and stuff are all alive to show it. But anyway, we're gonna stop here, saying thank you so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying the final station, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. The Illuminati!